You know, I've been watching this uh Kennedy book, this Kennedy guy, uh Robert F. Kennedy. He's running for president of the United States. He um of course he's a member of the Kennedy family. He um he's a Democrat I could vote for. He is a Democrat I could vote for. Now, before I go any further, this is him right here. You're Robert Robert F. Kennedy. Let me just tell you, you know, I'm an independent. Um now, keep in mind, I've never voted. Hey, look, I'm a dual citizen, Canadian, American. I can vote in both elections. I've never voted for a Democrat before, even though I'm an independent, which means I could if the Democrat speaks the right message and the Republican doesn't. Now, the same with Canada. You know, I'm an independent, even though I've never voted. Well, I have voted PPC before. I've never voted for a liberal or a new Democrat. I could if they were to speak something that were to speak to me. You know, but um, let's let's focus on America because that's where Robert F. Kennedy's from. He's a Democrat I could vote for. I've listened to him, and he's a Democrat I could vote. There's not that many Democrats I could vote for, even though I'm an independent. And the reason I call myself independent is because, you know, there are a lot of Republicans I couldn't vote for. I couldn't vote for Mitt Romney. Um, having said that, I'm 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 a relatively young man. 30 years old. I haven't voted in that many elections. So I haven't had a chance to vote for anything. And lately, it's only been the Republicans in the United States or the conservatives and PPC in Canada, which has appealed to me. But if Robert F. Kennedy were to get the Democrat nomination in America, which I don't think he's going to get. First of all, I think it's rigged against him. I don't know why he's running in the Democrats. He should run for an independent. He should be an independent. But, you know, the, the Democrats are never going to give him the opportunity to lead the party. It's going to be Joe Biden all the time, even if they have to rig it. I mean, they rigged, I think they rigged the general election. Imagine trying to become the, the Democrat nominee. I mean, I think the Democrats are the masters of rigging in the general election. So if they can rig the general and throw ballots in the garbage, which was a let, which was which was confirmed to have happened on mainstream media. They don't want to talk about it now. But if they can throw ballots in the garbage in the general, imagine what they'll do in the primaries. So Robert Kennedy doesn't stand a chance at all to become a Democrat. But if he were to, if, if some, some miracle were to happen, and he were the Democrat nominee, Robert F. Kennedy, there's a possibility that I could vote for him over Trump, over Trump, the anointed one, Donald Trump. If for some miracle, Robert F. Kennedy was the Democrat nominee and Trump was the Republican, there's a good chance I could vote for him over Trump. I'll tell you why. If Donald Trump is the nominee and Joe Biden's the nominee, which I think is going to happen, I'm voting for Trump. There's no way I'll vote for Biden. That's not happening. That'll never happen. I'd rather you crucify me on the cross. I'd rather you put a sharp AIDS-infected needle in my eye than vote for Joe Biden. If you threaten to chop my nuts off, I'll vote for Joe. If I vote for Joe, if I don't vote for Joe, I'd rather you chop them and I'll vote for Trump than vote for Biden. But Robert Kennedy's a different matter. And one of the things that appeals to me is he is tough. He is tough in supporting the people who aren't vaccinated. Not so much Trump. Now, Trump is a he has better policies than Biden, obviously. He talks a good talk. He's a he insults. He called Chris Christie fat. Jeb Bush low energy lion Ted all this. Donald Trump is a talker. He talk, talk, talk. Shit. And I like it too. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like that Donald Trump will tear up the establishment, call them names, and make people look shocked. And who, how could you say those? I like it. But. When Donald Trump was president and he had the opportunity to do action, he did very little. He didn't investigate Hillary Clinton. Look at Joe Biden investigating Donald Trump now. 
Donald Trump could go to jail, you know, because of Joe Biden. Why didn't Donald Trump do that with Hillary Clinton and all those globalists? George Soros, he was being too nice. I think Donald Trump is too nice. I think he's lost his way. I think he's become too soft. Ever since 2016, I think he's become a little squishy. Now, he can redeem himself, of course, but he didn't fire Anthony Fauci when Anthony Fauci was abusing Americans during the coronavirus. He didn't fire him. He didn't stop big tech from censoring. And he could have. He had a Republican majority. He could have done it. Executive orders, all those things. He didn't do it. Trump is good on the campaign. He'll talk. He'll insult. He'll ah, get him out of here when a protester comes into his rally. Get him out of here. Get him out. He has blonde hair, all that stuff. Yeah, he's out. But when he was president, he wasn't tough. He wasn't tough. He wasn't tough. Now, he could redeem himself. Maybe he's learned his lesson. Maybe he's seen how bad the globalists are, and if he becomes president again, he'll learn his lesson. But but Robert, he talks about things that nobody talks about, not even Trump. He talks about the vaccines and how he's going to not be a slave to Big Pharma, uh, big pharmaceutical companies. He is anti getting involved in other countries affairs like Ukraine we shouldn't be giving billions and billions and billions of our tax dollars to Ukraine when we've got problems in our countries I haven't heard I mean I haven't really heard maybe correct me if I'm wrong I haven't heard Trump talk against getting ourselves involved in Ukraine. And Trump is head over heels involved with Zionist Israel too, not Robert Kennedy. Now, there are a few things that have to confirm, you see. Robert F. Kennedy, does he support people being allowed to bear arms? Will he take our guns away if he becomes president? Because if you will, then I won't. I, I'm I'm not I'm not supporting that. I support people who are of sane mind and of clean criminal background to be able to have guns to protect ourselves from criminals and an out of control government. I support it. And ever since the coronavirus lockdowns, I know how bad the big government can get. Does he support securing our borders and only allowing productive immigrants to come into the country? Because if he supports open borders, I don't support him. You know what I mean? Does he support, yes, a clean environment, but also does he understand the fact that we are still reliant on oil and natural gas and nuclear power and I'd rather have those things, those fossil fuels come from America and have American jobs, or if you're in Canada, Canadian jobs, instead of importing them from China. You know what I mean? Because if he supports cutting American jobs, or you know, if you're in Canada, Canadian jobs, but let's talk about America. If he supports getting rid of American jobs, because you want to clean up the environment, but you're taking gas and oil from foreign countries, many of whom don't like us and can cut that oil off anytime they want. Look at Russia. Now I won't support him. But so far, J Kennedy is saying the right things. Now, there's no way I'd ever vote for Biden. There's no way in on God's green, beautiful earth that I could ever vote for someone like Joe Biden. That's never going to happen. Don't even waste your time. I'll never vote for Joe Biden. That'll never happen. Never, never, never. Never, 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 never. Listen. You know. Uh, and this might sound a little vulgar. 
You know, I'm a straight guy. I'm a straight. I'm a straight cisgender, whatever these left wing people like to say. I'm straight. I like women. I like women, all women, all the time. You know that, right? I love my women. I, I would never even dream of being even sniffing a man. However, if you told me you either vote for Biden or eat out of a man's ass, I would choose eating out of a man's ass over voting for Biden. There's no way I'd ever vote for Biden. That's how awful, that's how much I would never, and I'm a straight guy. I'm not no, you know, I have no problem with gays or nothing, you know, listen. As long as you're not trying to change your gender and going into the wrong bathroom, I have no problem with you. And as long as you're not trying to go after children, I have no problem with you. But me personally, I'm attracted to women. You know, women, 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 ladies, I'm attracted to feminine, feminine. I don't want no sausages. I don't want no sausages. Women, ladies, girls, I love it. I'm not that picky with my girls either. As long as they're of age, yeah, I don't care if you're fat, slim. As long as you're of age and you look like a woman, you don't got hair growing out all different types of places, except your head, of course. I don't like women who shave their head, all that crap. And I, I love my women, feminine women, feminine looking women. But if you put a gun to my head and you told me, you, my Clarenda commander in chief of Aranda Nation, the nation where the people shall walk barefoot because the land is so holy, you have to choose between voting for Joe Biden and eating out of a man's ass. And I can say ass because ass is in the Bible. If you had to choose between voting for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris and eating out of a man's ass I would rather eat out of a man's ass than vote for someone like Joe Biden that's how much I could never vote for Joe Biden or any of those globalists but Robert F. Kennedy is a different story he may be a democrat but he's definitely not a globalist he's not a part of the new world order He's not trying to create a one world government. He's not in league with George Soros and Rothschilds and all those different types of people. And he says a lot of the right things, I have to admit. And so far, I think he's more impressive in 2024 than Trump is. Now, if Trump were to become the nominee and Biden was the nominee, I'd vote for Trump in two seconds or any other Democrat, I'd vote for Trump, except for Robert Kennedy. I There's a chance I could still vote for Trump over Robert F. Kennedy, because as I say, there are a lot of different things I have to make sure of. Is he supportive of blocking unproductive immigrants? Does he support allowing people to have their guns, people of sound mind and clean criminal record? Does he support all of our energy coming from our country instead of foreign countries? However, if Robert were to somehow get the nomination, which I don't think he's going to get, but if he were, I would have to consider myself at the very least an undecided voter. But anyway, that's what I've got to say about Robert F. Kennedy. That's my thoughts on this 2024 uh, election and down in the United States. And this is the R. Securing your data privacy is more important than ever. Start your free privacy scan and see how much of your data is being sold on the internet. Offering data breach monitoring, bulk data removal, and agency protection, dataseal.io is the best and most affordable way to secure your data from ending up in the wrong hands. Remove your data today from the internet with dataseal.io. That's dataseal.io.